humanity does not know of its strength. And the intervention is leading it only to belief in its weakness. The intervention wants humanity to feel weak and helpless, discouraged and despondent. This is the perfect environment in which the intervention can establish itself, establish its power, build its support and gain its advantage in a foreign world. This is why you must consider these things we speak of before you come to any conclusions about the potential for humanity in its own world and beyond its world. Great care and skill must be brought to your encounters with intelligent life from beyond the world. The need for transparency and accountability regarding any visitation is very great. Here you must have certainty and not only hope. Knowledge provides certainty. Without knowledge you may have hope, but without certainty, hope is weak and can easily be discouraged. Certainty will tell you what you must do. It will inform you of what is required of you as an individual and what is required of your nations. We have provided the three requirements to build and establish freedom in the greater community. These can serve as contexts for important human development. But these developments must be inspired by knowledge. Otherwise, the desire for unity can lead to oppression. The desire for discernment can lead to secrecy, if not guided by knowledge. The intervention must be opposed. Its presence must be denounced. Its activities must be exposed. People must refuse to believe in foreign powers who are here without human permission. Acting against human will and awareness. Disclosure to people from their governments is important. But people also must disclose what they see and what they themselves have experienced regarding the presence of the intervention. Humanity must build its boundary to space. It must give its eyes and attention to space. You cannot have your back to the universe if you are going to be able to see what is coming and see what is already here. The taking of people against their will must be exposed and denounced. It is for an insidious purpose. It can only weaken and divide the human family even further. You must recognize that competition now exists competition from beyond the world. This competition must be recognized and must be exposed. Those who have believed that this presence is here for humanity's good must see that this is not the case that they have been deceived and that those who have been taken against their will believe in things that they were encouraged to believe. You are the native peoples of this world. You are experiencing intervention. The history of your world teaches you what intervention is like, and that it is always carried out in the interest of those who are intervening. Do not let yourself then fall under foreign persuasion and intervention. Understand that your true friends and allies would never intervene in the world in this way or carry on such activities, which only threaten the well-being of people and undermine humanity's unity, self-sufficiency and discretion. To be able to discern friend from foe in the universe, you must know the difference between your strength and your weakness, for your foe will speak to your weakness and your friend will speak to your strength. Everything that humanity values is now at risk. All that you have created, all of your advancements, all that you have accomplished which is significant. You do not realize the gifts that have been given here and how important they are. You will encounter races in the universe within whose populations compassion is not shown towards one another. Their people have become more like machines governed, controlled and directed with very little thought or feeling for themselves or for one another. This is common. This is one of the directions a race can take to establish stability and security. It is not the direction your allies have taken. They have charted a very different course for their peoples and for their future. 
do not think that humanity's future is hopeless because to think this is to fall prey to the persuasion that has been cast upon the human family. For the intervention seeks either to win your favor or to defeat your opposition. If they cannot win your favor, they will seek to discourage you and leave you hopeless and in despair. Faith in humanity. Faith in the power of good human leadership. Faith in the necessity and the requirement of human unity. Self-sufficiency and discretion you must never lose this faith. No matter what things appear to be you must never give up. The intervention wants you to give up to give in and to give over. But you must never do these things in the greater community. For once your freedom is lost it is extremely difficult to reclaim. As we ourselves have experienced so powerfully it is going to take tremendous courage to do what must be done in the world tremendous human innovation human commitment and cooperation. If you do not believe this is possible then the intervention has already won. Then it is only a matter of time. You have succumbed without even realizing the influence that has been cast upon you. Freedom and unity are difficult to achieve. And they must be driven by a great necessity. It is not merely by chance that a nation would become free in the universe. It is by necessity and by choice. If you are not free in the universe, you will be governed by others. If you do not achieve and support your freedom, then you will not control your destiny. This is the reality of life and the universe. It is a reality that can either redeem you or defeat you, depending upon how you respond to it. Many have failed in the greater community for these very reasons. Emerging races such as your own, unable to establish their freedom or having lost their self-sufficiency, find themselves under the persuasion of foreign powers overtaken often without any acts of overt violence, overtaken as a result of their own conflicts, overtaken by their own deprivation. All advancing nations face resource depletion. It is what they choose to do in the face of this that makes all the difference. Knowledge within the individual will guide them to make the right decision. But if knowledge is unknown or is not being experienced, then other decisions will be made. Humanity has great power, but it is not using its great power. It has great potential, but it is not realizing its potential. Individuals and nations still seek to gain as much as they can from their environment without any thought of tomorrow and what tomorrow will bring. Nations are opposing each other and groups are opposing each other, without any awareness that they both face domination in the greater community. Here the greater community can be seen either as a great threat, a threat that people will deny or avoid, or a great challenge that can unite humanity on its own behalf, using its own power and skill. Here humanity will gain its strength through necessity the strength of responding to a changing environment and to a changing set of circumstances.